Electrical safety. Electrical hazards can cause burns, shocks and electrocution, death. Assume that all overhead wires are energized at lethal voltages. Never assume that a wire is safe to touch even if it is down or appears to be insulated. Electricity does not need to have high voltage to cause electrocution. A voltage as low as 50 volts supplied between two parts of the human body, causes a current to flow that can block the electrical signals between the brain and muscles. Although there are many different causes of electrocution, they have one thing in common they could be prevented. Some of the most common causes of electrocution are contact with overhead wires, carrying out maintenance work on live electrical circuits, working with damaged electrical equipment, extension cords, plugs or sockets and unsafe work practices. Injuries or symptoms that can occur due to contact with electricity include burns to the skin or internal tissue, muscle spasm, partial loss of limb function, eye damage, neurological disorders, electrical interference of the heart, sudden onset of cardiac arrest, respiratory problems, unconsciousness. Control measures for electrical safety include Ensuring competent people are used for electrical work Ensuring electrical equipment is maintained in a safe condition by regular inspections And testing Reducing electrical hazards in the workplace Electricity itself cannot be seen and it has no smell It must be actively sought during inspections and hazard identification Talking with workers, looking at incident investigation and first aid reports can also help identify possible electrical hazards. Ways to control hazards in the workplace include Make sure all workers are trained in electrical safety and the correct use of appliances or equipment. Install safety switches. Arrange for a qualified electrician to regularly test equipment. Continually check that electrical leads are not frayed or damaged. If they are damaged, do not use the appliance. Install more power points rather than use double adapters or extension leads. Keep it away from walkways or hot surfaces. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment such as rubber soled shoes. Fit guards or restrictor plates to equipment where appropriate. Make sure equipment is fitted with safety valves, water level and pressure gauges where required. Hierarchy of control. Remove hazardous plant. Substitution. Replace electrical tools with pneumatic tools in wet weather. Use non-conductive scaffolding instead of metal. Isolation. Isolate the electrical supply to overhead power lines before working near them through a lockout system. Erect a physical barrier around the work area. Engineering. Use underground power distribution to reduce the risk of contact with overhead power lines. Administrative Plan, document and conduct risk assessment before starting work. Ban the use of electrical tools in the rain. Apply minimum safe approach distances when working near overhead power lines. Tag and test electrical equipment. Personal protective equipment. Insulating gloves mats and tools. What is a hazardous voltage and why? Voltages over 50 volts AC or 120 volts DC are considered hazardous. Electricity can kill. Each year about 1,000 accidents at work involving electric shocks or burns are reported to the health and safety executive. What DC voltage is dangerous? A average normal human under normal conditions, above the ground level can withstand a voltage of about 26 volts DC and 60 VAC. Normal conditions refers to resisted, dry skin, no direct earth contact, low amperage, around 10 milliamperes, and normal functioning of body. Can 12V kill you? If the battery is small, the maximum current it can provide is very small, that is a 9 volts battery on your tongue doesn't kill you. Normally, dry skin provides enough resistance to current flow that 12 volts will generally not shock you. Which material can be used as an insulator to protect from electrically energized wires? One way to safeguard individuals from electrically energized wires and parts is through insulation. An insulator is any material with high resistance to electric current. Insulators
such as glass, mica, rubber, and plastic, are put on conductors to prevent shock, fires, and short circuits.